Out of the USA and in, in Iran, Trump announces hard-hitting new sanctions on Iran. On Monday, President Donald Trump signed an executive order putting in place what he called hard-hitting new sanctions in Iran. We will continue to increase pressure on Tehran, Trump told reporters in the Oval Office, adding that the announcement follows a series of aggressive behaviors by the Iranian regime in recent weeks, including the downing of a U.S. drone. The supreme leader of Iran is the one who is ultimately responsible for the hostile conduct of the regime, Trump said. The new sanctions, Trump said, will deny Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, I'm sorry, Armin, if I didn't say that right, and other top leaders within the regime access the key financial resources to support. But he added that the U.S. does not seek conflict with Iran, and then he looks forward to discussing whatever I have to discuss with anybody that wants to speak, he said. Okay, I mean, I don't think these sanctions work, to be honest. Um, I mean, it, it really, I don't really think it works. Uh, it, and and I don't know how to s start on this because it's a huge huge can of worms that if I start talking about it I will never end. But um, this is not going to work. This is this really helps the more hardliner um, so, you know parts of Iran the the more, the more religious authorities they actually feed on this right. Um, the more you know the more you cut the ties with Iran from the countries that did used to have an influence on Iran, the more you're pushing them towards China and Russia. I mean, China and Russia, they don't give a shit about human rights violations, right? And they're really ready right now to fill in wherever United States, whenever uh, United States is putting sanctions, they're ready right there to... Um, and they're, 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 here's, here's what's going to happen, right? First, Iran is going to come up with more and more ways to do... Uh, deals that goes around these sanctions and they're going to come better and better at it right and just to let you know Iran has survived way worse situations than this right right after the revolution 1979 revolution in Iran Iran was bankrupt and they right after that they went to a eight-year war with Iraq uh, which killed millions of people and the the, the more the you put the people on pressure, the more religious you're going to make them, the more you're going to push them towards the government. This is the right, the conditions that the hardliners in Iran love the most that you're creating. You're not really hurting them, you're hurting the people. And also, this is going to teach Iran how to become more um, oil independent, right? Because they, what they are doing now, they're investing more and more in how to uh, instead of sending their oil to other countries where they take the petroleum and create make other products out of it they could you're forcing them to become more diversified sooner because they're going to try to turn create industries where they turn the petroleum to other products themselves and basically you're preparing them for a the eventual fall of the prices of oil before our other countries you know what i mean if you keep buying saudi arabia's oil like the tensions in the middle east are going to go up and saudi arabia is going to benefit from that because the oil price is going to go up and you're going to try to isolate iran where they can't sell their oil so saudi arabia is going to still remain addicted and hooked up to the oil and it's not going to be uh, when the price of the oil goes up really high uh, because of the u.s uh, iran tensions if it, it's going to make like electric cars m way more, um, it can, you know, scaling that is, is going to become a lot more justifiable. So right now, you, there's going to push more industries to go electric, and eventually, so it's going to be a short-term jump and eventually a, a crash at some point where everything switches to electric. But because Saudi Arabia is going to remain addicted to that. It's going to hurt, it's going to benefit Saudi Arabia in the short run, but Iran is going to have to force itself to find other ways to sell products that doesn't have sanctions on, right? Other products. Turn it, instead of getting other countries to make product, other products out of it, so I'll try to do it itself. And it's, in the short term, Iran would suffer economically, but in the long term, it would be more prepared for that eventual fall of pri oil prices. Um, and again, this is this um, also gives the IRGC, the uh, Islamic Republic, you know, the Revolutionary Guard, 
um, which has a huge monopoly in many areas in the industry. When the sanctions were not there, when the Obama deal was there and Iran was making deals with these other foreign companies where they were coming to Iran, it was taking market share away from IRGC, right? But now with these new sanctions, they're going to be able to capture a lot of that monopoly back. So it's going to basically help the part of the government that uh, is part of the problem and it's going to hurt the people when hurting the people the way that the the Trump organization is hoping that this translates to is that P Iranian people will suffer they're going to feel like the um you know they see their food they can afford less food less medicine less fun less everything and they're going to blame their own government for it right but this is this is a double-edged sword. Some, you know, some people are going to be like, "Yeah, look what our government is doing. It's putting us in such a horrible position that you know the world, that the United States is putting us under sanction. This is our government fault." But it could also lead to the other way. A lot of other people could be like, "Oh, look what the U.S. is doing to us, right?" So it's it's it. You have to see who who plays the PR game better. Can the government of Iran convince more and more Iranians that look what these enemy like? You know, a lot of people that are uh, anti-government, maybe you could win them back. We like, look what these foreigners are doing to them, to us, and try to win a lot of them back to the to support the government. Because remember, it's not just a bad religion. A lot of Iranians are also extremely nationalist, right? So when you have a foreign source, when you have the people against the government, if you introduce a foreign source, it sometimes pushes a lot of these anti-government forces towards the go the government because they're like you know when it comes i am against this government but when it comes to a foreign source i rather support the whatever is iranian right you know again there's a huge diversity of opinion like everything i'm saying does not represent the majority does not represent you know there's different there's different ways of people anybody that tells you oh this is what iranian people think is absolute horseshit there's many different opinions but there are if there are um, a lot of people that might think that, you know what, I have to support this government even though I was against them before, but against the foreign source, I have to support the government, right? We are seeing more and more like that, right? Um, we, we, so this this might not work. This might backfire. I mean, I don't know if, it, if they even care if it works, actually. Uh, Trump has to just try to show that he's doing something. Like... Trump doesn't, I don't think Trump administration, right, like Trump himself doesn't really care if this has the result. He just has to make sure that he, when he goes to, to the 2020 elections, that he says that he's doing something. It doesn't really, like, if, if he just shows that he's being tough on Iran, that's all he needs. It doesn't matter if it gives you the results or not. Right? But let me see. But, let me see what the top, Ali, did you want to add anything to that? No, not really. See, a lot of people that really want the Iranian government to fall, even from Iran, are supporting this. So there's a, another side to this as well. Uh, but they say this will, they, because they re a lot of people in Iran really, really want the government of Iran to fall or with whatever means necessary, even if it means absolute starvation for half, for half the country. They say it doesn't matter what, by whatever means necessary, we have to get rid of the government. But the thing, the problem is that they also recognize that the only way that will work is that if the sanctions are 100%, right? If Iran cannot sell any oil at all. But the thing is that the Trump administration has tried, like, to, to make Iran not be able to sell any oil is almost impossible. So for, for them to be able, to, for the sanctions to work halfway, it helps this government rather than hurts it. So it's almost impossible for them to bring oil, oil export to zero. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. 
انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.